This is the home of the Brock Badgers. Brock men's hockey is one of several promising teams on campus this year, coming off a Nationals appearance in April 2022 during a season where COVID altered the dynamic of their squad. We're on a journey this season to play our best when it matters the most. This is one step along that journey. We want to go back to Nationals. We want to win at Nationals. Let somebody feel what it means to come in here. They want to play with us in the park, okay? Mm -hmm. Captain Jared Marino is looking to charge toward U Sports Nationals, being held in Prince Edward Island in March 2023. They also look to win their first ever Queen's Cup as Ontario University Athletics champions. The puck's going to drop every Friday and Saturday night and whoever we're playing is going to be good and they're going to want to beat us. I was fortunate enough to, to get to a Queen's Cup and go to a national championship, but I don't got anything on my finger. I mean, anytime you don't win at the end of the year, the next year you're going back hungry or you want to win. You want to win every year. We have unfinished business in the OUA and we have unfinished business at Nationals. We want to see ourselves one at the end of the day until we're not one or we don't have a ring on our finger, we're not satisfied. These guys want to be great. They want to be champions. It's Doc Scars! Bowlers, shoot, scores! This is what you get. Two great teams going at it. You're going to punch, you're going to punch back. We're not getting the respect we deserve, so we have to go earn it. My name is Jared Marino. Uh, I'm currently a fifth year student. I'm just finishing my undergrad this semester and I'll be starting my master's come January. Uh, I'm a left winger and uh, from Niagara Falls, Ontario. I try to take pride in being good in all areas of the game, offensively, defensively. Being the captain, you kind of have to lead by example, so you have to be good at everything. So I take great pride in trying to, you know, make sure I'm good in all three zones of the ice, offensive, the neutral zone, and the defensive zone. Being captain here is, um, it's a huge honor. Being from Niagara Falls and growing up in the area, in the Niagara region, now being able to be a captain for Brock University is something that, you know, I've actually dreamed of, you know, when I was younger, I would go to Brock Badger games and I always thought like I would never be able to play there. And it's surreal, it's nice too, because family's there. Um, to come watch you play, so having that support there is awesome. TJ and Nate have been awesome. I talked to them a lot this summer, trying to you know get them situated with everything about Brock and trying to get them the lay of the land. Hope you're good at editing to make me sound and look good. I'm TJ Manisterski, and I'm the head hockey coach with Brock Men's Hockey. I spent the last 15 years in the United States coaching in the NCAA and I started at Canisius College in Buffalo and then went on to Fredonia State, then Curry College which is in uh, Boston and then finally at Union College which is in Schenectady, New York near Albany and then back home uh, to Ontario and here with Brock. We're working together to craft our identity and our style. For us we want to be a disciplined team. It means being discipline in our structure and how we want to play and, and it means controlling your emotions. We want to be a fast team and we want to be relentless. A relentless team is touching the puck first, they have second efforts, they're finishing checks, blocking shots. They're doing all those little things that it takes uh, to win hockey games. And in our case, we want to be successful as a team. We want to win hockey games, but we also want to help develop people uh, beyond the ice. 
you know, leaders in the community, uh, guys that are doing well in school, and, and we want to help them as individuals as well as, as having our team success. Do you think about like, TJ has kind of put this team together and then the other coaching staff? I can tell he really wants to be here and he doesn't want to just, you know, be here for one year. He kind of wants to be the cement to this program and he wants to be here for a while. TJ's brought um, just the culture. He's definitely brought a culture of uh, making sure everybody's accountable. We gain a lot more of an appreciation for playing uh, at Brock and being a Badger. It's huge for the program. I mean, that, that's what you need if you want to be a successful team. These are things that are really important and uh, at all times, but especially at the beginning when you're, you're just laying a foundation. But you're also working on things with your culture and how you operate. Like, we're in a new facility, everything's brand new. How do we operate in this building? Something special was waiting for the team as they arrived for training camp at the end of the summer. Two brand new rinks. How do you like the new rink? Yeah, the new rink's awesome. And I've been excited to see the ring for uh, since my first year. Our room is state of the art. We were just anxious to move into it. Obviously, with that nice room that they've put together for us, and the new arena with the new, you know, the new seating and the new ice and the new scoreboard, it's it's amazing what they've done, and we're very fortunate to be playing there. It's got a TV. Never had a TV in there before, so watched a little highlights before. We got all our video in there. We don't have to go to separate rooms and. It just makes everything way easier. Cushion seats, it's, it's, it's a high class room and I think it could be one of the best dressing rooms in the OUA. The Steel Blade Classic, Brock University's main homecoming event, which is an annual preseason hockey game against the Guelph Griffins. The winner receives a steel blade from the War of 1812. And these teams do not take this preseason tussle lightly. You start off the season, the exhibition game, and it's the most hyped up one. You don't really know what it's about until you actually experience it. The adrenaline of Steel Blade, uh, when, you, when you first step on the ice and you hear the roar of the fans, it kind of gets you going to another gear. You got to get out those pregame jitters and then uh, you settle in nice and I think we did that in the second period you kind of saw after the first period we kind of took a breath and second period we came out and were able to get a couple goals. Steel Blade Classic Badgers have a 5 nothing lead over the Guelph Griffins. Sometimes in big games, big moments, big crowds, that there's a tendency to be apprehensive. Uh, we played, we played fast and relentless. And the Brock Badgers win the 2022 Steel Blade Classic with a score of six to two. We won it our first year, so I, I kind of knew that there was a trophy. I knew that there was a sword. Being able to lift it as captain was awesome. Celebrate it with the guys. So much fun. You know, it's something, it's a great tradition. It's something that we never want to lose. Uh, I know it's a preseason game, but something that we take very seriously. And yeah, I'm just happy that everyone from the first years to guys who haven't played in a Steel Blade game got to experience it and win. It was an experience of a lifetime and something that I will definitely remember for the rest of my life. Obviously for me coming in was my first year was COVID, so you know all the guys were saying, you know, Steel Blade is so cool, it's so cool. Personally for me, it was really fortunate that I got to play in that game. It was an all-around great experience to showcase our team this year. I'm here because I believe in what can be accomplished here. I believe in this region, I believe in this school. I think it's an up-and-coming school. In a lot of ways, it's, a, it's kind of the best kept secret. And we want to let that secret out. And I think the hockey team is similar. We can, we can do a lot of things here and uh, we can have success. Every team is so good in the OUA. There's tons of parity in this league. 
We want to play our best hockey when it matters most. When it matters the most, it could be a game-clinching goal that could send us to the playoffs. It could be a big penalty kill with a guy, you know, blocks a shot. It resonates with everyone on the team because, like I said, the end goal is a national championship. We just want to keep building for that. And everything along the way is just a measuring stick and information on how to continue to keep getting better. And uh, if we can be fortunate to be healthy and to keep improving, you know, I think we'll be in a position to achieve, uh, you know, the goals that we have as a team.